In this video, I want to talk a little bit about landscape design and working on fabric instead of paper. Um, I had planned on using Yarka sauce crayons and Yarka pastels on fabric and then hand crank embroidering different images um, for landscape design. I had also been using my Singer Model 237 to do a different style of embroidery in thread. Um, and this is a face mask of mine. Now, um, there are some wonderful patterns for face masks. I like this one especially, and this is the one I'm going to keep making um, for two reasons. One, um, these aligners can be left... Um, interchangeable by using snaps or velcro. I decided to stitch this one together, but the knitting acts, um, if you wear the knitting toward your face and you wear glasses like I do, the knitting absorbs all the moisture that steams up your glasses. So that's why for everyday use I like these. And what I had planned on doing was using a Model 20 to make the liners, and then I was I have a lot of wool to spin, so I was going to just knit the backing and make the liners with a Model 20. Um, I really think it's important I switch back to my brother because it's the machine I can easiest clean. So I have to make some changes. But before I do, um, I did this. Um, the outline was just a scrap um, test for the 500A, um, but I did this with a Model 20. Working from the back, I drew it in ink on the back and left the chain stitch on the front. Now, what these are going to be are garden tags. Um, I've used permanent marker, and uh, the, the one that lasts the longest, if you have perennials, is... Um, a number one extra soft pencil on a white plastic marker. The problem is markers can get lost, the squirrels can dig through the pots and throw the markers everywhere. Um, these are fabric plant markers. So wherever I plant a pumpkin plant, I'm going to um, put a stick through this or something and stick it right to the ground, and I'm going to know where things are before they come up. Um, but this is how nice a Model 20, and I was planning on doing all of these with a Model 20. So now, instead of hand crank embroidery and yarkas, I'm switching to Crayola chalk, black thread, and a flower foot. Um, this will fit a Beauchamp, um machine like a Singer or the Brother. And what it does is make um, if you've done any landscape design at all, it makes the typical tree outline in a circle if you have a zigzag. It makes just a regular straight stitch circle if you don't have a zigzag. I'm going to use black thread, and when I lay out a garden design, um, I'll draw it in in chalk first. I'll stitch the elements in black thread on muslin. And then I can wash it. The one thing with the uh, Yarka sauce crayons, it doesn't wash out very well. Um, they're very permanent. They're um, high-quality professional pigment. And I've had a um, cross-stitch piece of fabric on this ironing board that I had drawn some lips on, and I can't get the lips off of there now. I've washed it like three times. Crayola chalk will come out. So what I can do... If you pretend this is a rectangle, and I have design elements, and let's say I want to put roses here, then I can color it in in chalk and pink, see how I like it, and then if I do like it, go back in with the flower foot in pink thread and make it more permanent. Um, this is adjustable uh, somewhat from, like, I think it goes down to like a half an inch up to an inch. So using a scale of um, one foot equaling um, 
I mean, one inch equaling one foot. I mean, that's a one foot wide plant if you have an inch. So um, you can be consistent with the sizes. The other thing to mention, this is hand spun wool. And I threw this in bleach and it did not get ruined. So that's just, um, I'm going to probably be knitting these instead of out of nice vintage wool. They're probably going to be in hand spun um, simply because it's easier. And I have bleached it and with no ill effects. So muslin, black thread, um, a zigzag machine that you can clean easily, like my brother, the flower foot and Crayola chalk is replacing fancier embroidery, um, hand crank embroidery, and professional drawing crayons um, for a while, um, both for ease of use, but also, um, like I said, I can clean the brother the easiest. Um, this is the <clears throat> garden hood. So I had planned on embroidered flowers all over this. I'm now going to put black um, flower stitch designs on them that are like spirographs to me. I'm going to put those all over, especially if you have children and you do outlines like that. They have a coloring book with chalk, and they can keep coloring their garden hood. Or um, I have a nephew. I have to make... I have to come up with a design for a face mask for my nephew, and he's um, my great nephew. He's only uh, five, so I'm, it's going to have to be small, and I can't find the fabric of his favorite characters. So if I put flower foot spirographs on it um, and give him a box of chalk, he can color in balloons or polka dots or army things or whatever he wants. And then his mask gets washed, and then he can color it again.